Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a day or so ago, I posted letting you know about the full list of apps that could break upgrades to this year's annual feature update being Windows 11 24H2. And as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen if you'd like some more info, Microsoft seems to be clamping down even further now, especially on third-party UI customization apps like Explorer Patcher and start all back. Now check that video out if you want more info. But uh, just to let you know, and also to answer one or two questions I've been seeing in the comments, it seems that if you are using Stardox Start 11, that according to a recent post um, from Stardock, um, Start 11 will not break or prevent you from getting to the latest release of Windows 11 24H2 once it does roll out later this year. Now, if we just head over to that announcement, this is the announcement with the release of Start 11 version 2 with Windows 11 compatibility improvements. And I'll leave this down below, uh, this um, blog post and this announcement down below if you'd like some more info and would like to download an update to the latest release and the latest version. Now, they say here that um, this carries improvements to Windows 11 compatibility for future releases. Now, this is the important bit in this paragraph they mention that later this year, Microsoft will be releasing a significant update to Windows 11 that is referred to as 24H2. And as part of this release, it looks like Microsoft will be removing legacy code from the OS. The removal of this code is impacting any Windows 11 application that leveraged this functionality like Start 11, Start All Back, Explorer Patcher. But they mention here that Start 11 and Start 11 version 2 are not impacted. So at this stage, it doesn't seem that Start 11 will um, be blocked or the app will not function correctly on version 24H2 and you will be blocked using Start 11 from upgrading to this year's annual feature update. They mentioned in this next paragraph, this is important because Microsoft has started pushing app compatibility blocking notifications to devices that are running these applications and stopping them from upgrading. Once again, any customer running Start 11 or Start 11 version 2 should not see these notifications. So at this stage though, according to Stardock, Start 11 should be okay in regards to being run and upgrading to Windows 11 version 24H2. And they just say here in this last paragraph, let us know if you encounter any issues and so on. So as mentioned, this will be down below and you can go check that out if you'd like more info. And we don't really talk about third-party apps on the channel, but I thought because this is gaining such a lot of interest that I would just mention it because I have seen one or two comments regarding Start 11 and just wanted to put that out there um, just to keep you posted and in the loop. And if anything does change, obviously, and I get more info or uh, anything does change up until the release of version 24H2 regarding these third-party UI customization apps, obviously, I will post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.